NASCAR has wrapped up its West Coast swing, and this weekend at Phoenix Raceway, we saw a strange incident with Eric Amarola where it appeared he lost part of his wheel. What are your thoughts? Yeah, that's the biggest thing here. You looked at it afterwards, we saw a wheel come loose. Let's go in car here and, and give you a video of, of what's going on. I'll let you listen to it as we come through. So as you heard there, Eric Amarola actually lifts earlier in the corner than he has wall contact. That's where I feel like the wheel's coming apart and, and coming off. The, the impact with the wall actually knocks it off the race car. And NASCAR looked at this the same way. They felt like the wheel was not properly installed and thus held him for two laps in the race. And we saw that they're gonna have a two lap or two race penalty for two pit crew members going forward the next two races. And that's the second time we've seen that this season. Martin Truex Jr. and the number 19 team suffered a loose wheel in Auto Club, so they had that two lap penalty and two pit crew members were suspended for two races. But this is very different than we have had in past years where a loose wheel meant your crew chief and your crew members were suspended for four races. So is this current penalty still detrimental? Yeah, it is, it is. You break up the chemistry. These pit stops are so choreographed, you're, you're putting new people in, it's a penalty. It's one that they're, they're gonna be at a, a deficit. And I think NASCAR's adjusted this properly. When they originally went to the four race suspension and the crew chief being involved, we had five lug nuts on each wheel. And as crew chiefs, we were asking them to hit four or maybe three to try to speed up the pit stops. Now that we only have one on each wheel, as crew chiefs, we want that nut, nut tight. So there's no drive for the crew chief to, to push this. They've removed the crew chief from the penalty, but we still have a two race penalty.